In this video, we'll learn to order positive and negative decimals. What we have here is a decimal. It's an amount of money, but it's also a decimal because it has a decimal point. And each of the digits has a particular value, just like it does in thousands or hundreds, tens, units, and so on. So I've tried to represent the value of each of the digits using the pound using notes and the coins so this is 11 pounds and 11 pence this one in here represents 10 pounds this one in here represents one pound this is 10 pence and this is one pence as you can see As you can see, the value of each of the digits as it moves, <clears throat> as you can see, the value of each of the digits on the right is equal to 10 of the digits. So the 10 pence is equal to 10 lots of 1 pence. One pound is equal to 10 lots of 10 pence. 10 pounds is equal to 10 lots of one pound. And the pattern continues. So if you had another digit here, that would be 10 times smaller than the one pence coin. We don't have a coin to represent that. It means just one of these bits. A tenth of a penny. So if I have this amount, this would be 24 pounds and 83 pence. If you didn't have a pound sign in front, I'd read this as 24.8 Three. 148.04 4026.486 So if I have these decimals And I need them to be in order from the largest to the smallest then the largest of them all is going to be the one that has more digits before the decimal point because in this case this has 114 this one has only 14 and the same here only 14 so no matter how big the digits after the decimal point are this is what matters most. This would be the biggest. So no matter how big the digits after the decimal point of these two numbers are, this, this would be the biggest number because of the hundreds. So placing that first, Now comparing these two, the digits before the decimal point are exactly the same, but after the decimal point they are different. We've got 0, 2 and then 2, 0. So this would be 14 pounds and 2 pence, and this would be 14 pounds and 20 pence. So the higher the digit that is right after the decimal point, the closer to the decimal point, the higher the value of the decimal. So what's going to come next is 14.20. Again, 14.02. The order is really important. So if I have just 
14.2 and 14.20. Are they the same or are they different? They mean exactly the same thing, the same amount. When it comes to money, we always write it with two digits after the decimal point. So we can't have this like that. We need to complete it. But the value of it is identical, even if you didn't have the zero. What that means is that there are no pennies. And whether you put a zero there or you don't, it means no pennies. So it means the same thing. So if I have 1.5 litres, that is the same as saying 1 litre and 5 hundred milliliters and I can write it like that it means exactly the same thing in both cases I could have as many zeros as I want after that it still is going to mean one and a half liters however if you have the zero in front of the five so after the decimal point but before the digit that is different from zero which in this which in this case happens to be five then it makes a difference just like we said earlier here so this would be one pound and five pence and this would be one pound and fifty pence if it was money i like to refer to money when it comes to decimals it makes it much easier for me to understand and remember and make links between the different things. If you prefer to do it that way, you can do so. If you don't, that's still okay as well. Now I've got five numbers. 0, 5.8, negative 0 0.58, 0 0.58, negative 5.8. On a number line, I'm going to show you that with place 0 here, 5.8, probably be around there. So it's higher than 5, but less than 6. Negative 5.8 would be on completely the other side of the number line. Something like being overdraft by five pounds and eighty pence and then we have 0 0.58 which is probably around here and negative 0 And then we'd have 0 0.58, which would be around here. So 58 pence and negative 0 0.58 being around here. So if the number has a negative symbol in front, but the digits are the same, just like we had here, then the positive number is going to be higher. The distance between that number and zero is the same as the negative number and zero. If both of the numbers are positive, just like we have with them too, then we need to first look at the digit or digits in front of the before the decimal point. Now 5 is higher, so that means 5.8 is larger as a number. That's why we have 0 0.58 after 5.8. When both of the numbers are negative, then the opposite happens. 
you've got to have if So when comparing these two negative numbers, this is larger because the digit in front of zero, <clears throat> when comparing negative numbers such as these two here, the larger the digit, the smaller the number. So what you can do is ignore the negative sign in front and if the number like 5.8 is larger than 0 0.58 then as a negative you're going to do the opposite it's going to be then as a negative the opposite is going to be the case so this is smaller than this